What's up guys, welcome to today's video of free to play Xian Yun Guide and Showcase. Here's my build for CGO Xian Yun. Originally, I planned to use Oswan Eye for this showcase as it's literally the best option for free to play. But since it's only obtainable during version 2.5, most of you probably aren't old enough to have it. So to make this showcase relevant for all players, I decided to give her R5 Favonius Codex instead. Compared to R5 Oswan I, it's slightly weaker in bust and healing. But as return, you won't have to worry about any energy problem at all. As for the artifact, I went for the 4 piece Redidison Vanilla with triple attack for the main stats just to make her more of a universal support. Like any burst dependent support, prioritize on energy recharge before anything else to ensure her burst is up at all time. As for the talent, Ignore everything else except for the burst for more healing. Since Xiang Yun is a very unique support, let's learn more about the details of her kit. Her elemental skill is quite useless in combat aside from generating animal particles. Well, to be fair, 5 particles for every 12 seconds is extremely generous which makes her a very decent animal battery. Besides, it's not entirely worthless when combined with her passive one. Depending on how many enemies you hit with her skill plunge attack, you'll receive a small quick red buff for the whole team. Not much, but it's at least something. Anyway, before moving on to her burst, there's one thing you absolutely must know. Hitting enemies with her skill movement won't apply swell. Remember, only the plunge itself does. It's a very important mechanic if you're using VV set. As for her burst, Let's split it into different parts to make it easier for you to understand. First of all, she's basically Jim Pro Mass, which heals the entire team for every 2.5 seconds after the initial large healing. But since we're going for triple attack build, her healing is actually not that impressive. Considering it heals the entire team instead of just one person on the field, you can't really ask for more. No need to worry though, her healing is definitely more than enough for your daily use. Except for the sound special cast in the abyss. Anyway, its second effect allows anyone to jump high enough for plunge attack. However, its height is actually slightly lower than shell. Don't underestimate this minor difference. Although you're still able to do high air plunge, you can't dodge any attacks at all with this jump. There can be no excuse or defeat. So I suggest you to build your healers well and prepare to tend to all the punishments from the enemies. Good luck! The last part of her burst is the damage buff which comes from her passive too. What a paragraph, right? To make it simple, she's basically a Bennett Pro Mess but only for the plunge attack. However, there are some differences you should know. First of all, Xian Yun can buff this damage from you hitting the body of the enemy during mid-air. Besides, her buff only works on 8 times and is strictly for single target only. Quite a bit downside when going against Klaus. Well, that's all about seeing his kit. But if you wanna fully understand Plunge, check out my guide on Plunge Attack Mechanics. I'm sure you'll benefit from it. Well then, it's time for some team showcase. But before going into more of that, let me ask you a question. Are you still buying Welkins or Crystals to the regular in-game store? If you do, stop doing that right now and check out loopbar.gg for 20% more discount. Not only it offers a much better price, but it's also a very trustworthy platform with fast and secure transactions. All top-ups are done via the official Hoyoverse route, so you won't miss out any double bonus if you haven't used it yet. What's even better is, if you're new to this platform, you'll get another 5% discount on your first purchase. So basically instead of $100, it's only $75 for the highest amount on crystals, saving you almost 30 bucks just like that. 
so be sure to check out loopbar.gg in case you are in need of any extra primal gems. Links in the description. Needless to say, it's very obvious that Xiang is the best with Xiao. I believe you have already seen many of his gameplay before stumbling onto this video. Compared to other teams, this team is extremely easy to play with almost zero downside at all. Even when I miss so many plungers, this bird still melts. Well, that was an accident. Anyway, the synergy among this team is just incredible. Triple animal with two Favonias ensures no one has energy issue even for Fuina, allowing everyone to focus more on damaging stats. Besides, Xiangying is able to immediately heal out all the HP drained by Xiao and Fuina, which allows Fuina to quickly mess up her buffs. But that's not the best part just yet. With Xiangying's buff on plunge attack, you can finally say goodbye to Bennett and enjoy the unlimited mobility she provides. That's all the reason why you should pull Xiaoyun if you are Xiao main. As for the most anticipated dilute, I'm not sure how to express this, but holy hell is broken! This Deluxe Xiaoyun combo is just 100% broken! Absolute, incredibly, extremely powerful thing and surprisingly easy to play! I might sound a little bit too excited, but my Deluxe is not even fully built yet, and he's already doing 150k per punch with 100% crit rate. On top of that, remember that this is entirely free to pass it out. Everyone is C0 with 4 star weapon and is already this freaking strong. I've never imagined that Lido can once again be the meta, but here we are. Anyway, although it's powerful, this team does have many downsides. For one, it has no resistance to interaction, which is quite painful against enemy like this. Besides, if you spawn your plunge too fast, you might apply too much pyro that Furina will instead do the replies instead of Lilu's plunge. And last, like I mentioned before, Xiangyi's buff only works on one target, so this team is not exactly great against clouds. Well, that's all you need to know for this team. Nevertheless, it's still a strong team. Most importantly, it's extremely fun and satisfying to see Lilu this strong. Garmin, a pyro Cremo who specializes in plunge attack. That's all the reasons why he's working with Xiang Yun, right? That's what I thought before I actually try him out. Don't get me wrong, his damage potential is even higher than Diluc if you actually play him well. But that's where the problem is. He's a high skill, high reward character which is really not easy to play. I've struggled with him so many times before managing to record this footage for you. His clutch mechanic is a little bit too random for my liking. Well, as expected for a character with the name of Gaming. Luckily there's a solution to this. What I'm going to do is to alternate between his skill and normal plunge. But since Gaming cannot infuse Pyro himself, he requires CC's Bennett to do that for him. With this trick, he becomes so much smoother and easier to play. Wait a minute, this infusion, does that mean... I have a crazy idea. Yes, any sword, spear, and claymore character can be a great pyro DPS with these teammates. So Traveler mains, what are you waiting for? Now is your best chance to shine! Just be a whale and start pulling C2 Xiang along with C2 Fuina. Sorry, let's get back to the showcase. As we know, 
one of the biggest problems with CGO Hu Tao is her stamina management. That's why we use jumping to cancel her charge attack animation. Now with the addition of Xian Yun, you have basically turned this maneuver into another attack move effectively solves her stamina problem without sacrificing any damage. Furthermore, Plunge attacks have far stronger AoE than Charge attack, which allows her to deal with claws much easier than before. At last, with Fulina in the team, you can choose to use Hunter Artifact to improve your Hu Tao's crit rate. But remember, all these are for C0 Hu Tao. If your Hu Tao is C1 and above, I don't think you need Xiangyin at all. You have access to Dodge Cancel, which allows you to spawn Charge attack much faster than C0 Hu Tao. Forcibly going for plunge attack will only slow you down. Just like Cjiro Hu Tao, Cjiro Wizli is also insanely stamina heavy, especially when you can't consistently bring his HP down to 60% to activate his passive talent. That means the same trick of Hu Tao works on Wizli too. However, since he's a catalyst, his clutch multiplier is literally at the bottom of the list. Besides, his elemental skill only busts normal attack, not for the charge attack and plunge. So if you're playing this way, you are basically sacrificing all his skill and talent, which is not a good idea at all. I thought Cjiro Will can finally be great with Xian Yun, just like how she was on Cjiro Hu Tao. But apparently not. Too bad. As for the last team, I'm gonna show you a team that doesn't involve vampires and melt. Thanks to its independent internal cooldown, Quicken also synergizes very well with Plunge attacks too. One of the best examples of it is the Yemiko Agravet. This was originally a Chris War team that doesn't involve anyone to stay on the field. But with Xian Yun, you can start plunging with Yemiko to deal even more damage than before. How does it work? Each punch attack triggers Agravet, which in turn triggers Fisher's talent for the Thunder Strike. This Thunder Strike also has independent ICD, which means it will trigger yet another Agravet for you. So with each punch, you are basically triggering Agravet for two times, massively boost your DPS. By the way, no need to use EM Sento. Nahida will provide all the EMs you need. Also, you shouldn't plunge with Nahida because spread one trigger Fisher's talent compared to Elgravet. Well, that's all for this guide and showcase. As for conclusion, I think Sigilo Sing is a very good pool for those who enjoy more playstyles. But meta-wise, I think she's kinda average honestly. Although the damage is good with Vaporized Plunge, there are other things that's just as important as damage. Area of effect, intra resistance, survivability, etc. All these best things with her has none of it. Hell, her jump is not even high enough for you to dodge like Xiao. We all know how easily Xiao can be killed. It'll be even easier with Xiang Yun's vaporized punch team. Well, anyway, that's my review on Xiang Yun. Pull her for playstyles, yes. For meta, no. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next video.